So the Star Wars Battlefront 2 beta is essentially giving me more reason than I originally thought to buy the Xbox One X. Now I'm going to demonstrate to you about as good as I can using garbage compressed YouTube quality. The footage you're currently looking at is captured from Upload Studio. That's the default game DVR that comes standard in every single Xbox One console and it captures game footage at a very ugly washed out 30 frames per second. The footage is going to follow after is captured through Shadowplay. That's my default video game capture software that's included with my NVIDIA graphics card. And it's capturing at a 1080p resolution at 60 frames per second. Now, the most jarring difference in this YouTube footage is no doubt going to be the slap in the mouth when the frame rate changes from 30 to 60 because everybody knows Upload Studio can't capture over 30 frames per second. Now, I want you to pay close attention to this and very important, try to watch on your computer, please. Boom. Look at this difference. Look at this difference. Now keep in mind, this is YouTube quality right here, okay? I want you to really look at it. Now, essentially, this is supposed to be the difference between the Xbox One and the Xbox One X. This is PC gameplay. It's high, medium settings at 1080p. It's a pretty game, no doubt. There's currently talk of a native 4K 60 FPS mode on Xbox One X for Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now, that remains to be seen. I'm guessing some sort of checkerboard process, like on the PS4 Pro and super sampled for 1080p TVs, is going to be the case here. Now, I'm going to be real with you. The captured Xbox One gameplay in the beginning didn't look quite as bad as Upload Studio depicted in this video, but the PC gameplay you're looking at right now is not as good is the actual footage is in person either so you get what I'm trying to say now Battlefield 1 is just like this on Xbox One compared to the PS4 Pro washed out dog shit resolution that just doesn't compare when you put it next to the Pro and we're talking about the Pro not even the PC and honestly I'm just sick of it I'm sick of subpar resolutions on my preferred platform which is the xbox now it sucks i have to drop another 500 dollars to get the xbox one where it should have been when it launched but whatever i'm all about second chances okay in this case third fourth fifth chances whatever we're gonna see oh in the xbox one x game dvr supposedly is going to capture gameplay at 4k 60 now i'm guessing this will be more along the lines of 1080p 60 but stay tuned here, because I'm going to run it through all its paces. I currently have a 4 terabyte external hard drive with over 100 Xbox One games downloaded on it. And I'm going to tell you if super, sam super sampling... Learn to talk, you fucking idiot! If super sampling is worth $500 for a 1080p television. Again, if you watch this on your phone, you're not really going to see the difference... Now, you know me, I'm not going to damage control the Xbox. If Xbox has flaws, even though it is my preferred platform, God knows why, I will tell you, this is going to be the place to be if you want honest opinions about the Xbox One X. I'm going to run the games through the paces, see what we can see, and again, this is for 1080p owners because I do not have a 4K television. So... You're probably thinking at this point, oh, oh, so you like Battlefront 2? Hell no. I thought it was trash. Absolute trash. But, again, the case can be made for several games like this when comparing the Xbox One to just the Pro. I'm not into the laser guns. I'm not into the Star Wars universe. Again, it's a very pretty game. Um, Star Wars fans, I'm sure, will be pleased. Just the people spawning crystallized shields on their guns all over the place was enough to turn me off very boring very repetitive just no desire to play but again that's probably because i have no care whatsoever about the universe all right that's all i got for you i'll holla at you later I'm dead fucking instantly. 